Guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. Big one today, we're training an online client in person. I know, I'm actually a fully certified personal trainer. Often people forget about that. So of course you have the app, the ebooks, the guides, all that good stuff, but I do also have a kind of program where I take on a handful of people who I work very closely with, one-on-one, -on -one directly, just people who need that extreme accountability. And I love doing it, it's a lot of fun. Always get some really motivated enthusiastic individuals. Most of it's done online, but you know, there's no strict rules. If I'm in Dublin, client wants to meet up for a session, let's do it. If in this case, the client is out in Marbella, we're definitely linking up for a session, okay? It's relaxed like that, you know? So one of my clients was in town. I said, hey, do you mind if I record this session where I put you through your paces and we'll put it up on YouTube? He said, of course, no problem. He actually has a clothing brand that's really cool that you guys should all check out, really slick. While you see the session, it's an intense, push day, really good session. I'm gonna talk through some points, my best tips for being a personal trainer, or even if you're looking for a personal trainer, this is what I'd say look out for. And of course, you know, all my stuff is mainly online, but it kind of applies for both online and in person. So let's get into the video. Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. If you haven't, a lot of people, they come over from Instagram, they watch the videos and they haven't clicked the big red button and thumbs up, so down below, Press it right now, please. So as I was saying, I work with a handful of clients very closely, and again, man himself, he's in Marbella. He's going, to, he's going off the Ocean Club later. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, need but to... maybe he's yeah. joining me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be very tempted. I might leave the vlog off there. Uh, but look, we're gonna hit uh, chest today, anyways. And look, we're on holidays. You gotta have it pumped up for Ocean Club. But anyways, let's go to UP and hit a good sesh. Number one is be a people's person. Okay, be able to communicate communicate properly. There are so many trainers, they'll do the course, they're really well qualified, but their communication skills aren't up to scratch. And in my opinion, that's kind of everything. You know, we can all learn what macros are, we can all learn what calories are, we can learn how to program weight sessions, but you need to learn how to motivate your client, be clear with them, and even good at using analogies and explaining things. And it shows you really know about a topic if you can break things down and explain it really simply. So number one for me is be a people's person. Have a bit of banter, be it online, on video, or in person. You need to make it a fun experience for the client. It needs to be enjoyable. So that is my tip number one, is be a people's person. Next is be open-minded. A lot of coaches, like myself, sometimes they put their own goals onto the client themselves. So like, let's say I get Margaret, who just wants to you know, shape up a little bit, get some more steps in, and have a bit more energy throughout the day. And I'm like, Margaret, why don't you want to get cut and jacked and tanned and live in Marbella? <laughs> Man, I'm awesome. You also gotta realize people also have their own goals and preferences, so you need to be open-minded to all approaches. Even if an approach that you don't necessarily believe in, that's what they can sustain and adhere to, well then you need to be open-minded towards that. So open-mindedness is great. So what we're doing here is we just finished off on the incline. So that is obviously gonna hit your shoulders as well as upper chest. So what I recommend doing is when you move on to your next exercise, do a flat press like this. We have the hammer grip to minimize that shoulder activation. So first exercise is in on bench. Second is hammer flat press. So you just gotta have to wait and see what's the third exercise. You walk the walk. You give out good advice and you actually follow it too. And now, this is a touchy subject, okay? Because technically, if a trainer gives out really good advice and you know they don't look like Z's or Greg Plitt, well that's fine, that's more than fine, okay? The main thing is, that they give out good advice and they can be a really awesome trainer as well. And this is a perfect example. Sometimes you see a boxing coach or an NFL coach or you know someone who trains Big Ramy, okay? They don't look like the athletes they're training. So it's absolutely fine. But with personal training, it does help a lot if you're in somewhat good shape. Again, you don't have to be a bodybuilder, but it's gonna make you a lot more marketable as well. You're gonna get a lot more clients. But it'll also motivate your current clients as well to show that not only are you giving them advice, but you're taking it as well. So it kind of makes things just flow a little bit better and a little bit more straightforward. You don't have to be an IFBB pro. You don't have to be shredded year round, but do keep yourself tidy for your own sake too. Right, so the chesticles are looking very pumped. So we are gonna go on some shoulders. That's our two main compounds out of the way done. So we're gonna do some more isolation exercise. I don't think this man can take any more compound movements. We are, we might as well be doing cardio. It's crazy. So right, dumbbell ladder raises. The main thing is, 
what your upper arm does, okay? So when you're doing ladder raises. You wanna do this, okay? You wanna hold out here. You wanna do some forward lean. It's all pretty much the same. Down to personal preference, what feels right, what doesn't hurt you, okay? So, what I like to do is a little bit of a hybrid of them all, so just like so. Number four is educate your clients. Okay, usually my programs, typically they're about 16 weeks. I do have a guarantee in my programs that if you don't hit your goal by 16 weeks, we can keep going. So that's a nice little guarantee that I have in place. That's how confident I am of my programs. But the goal is by week 16, your clients can just go out and do their own thing, okay? I see a lot of trainers and they spoon feed their clients, probably because they want them to keep them as clients, to keep them paying. But that's really not what a good trainer would do. It's kind of actually immoral when you think about it, just spoon feeding them so they'll stay on. And so when you do make a change, to your program, if you do update it, you also have to explain why you're making these changes. It's gonna give you a lot more credibility as well. Also, quick note on that, talking about changes to the program. Don't just change the program for the hell of it. If things are going well, let's say the client's goal is fat loss, they're going along well, okay? It's the end of the month and they say, is there any changes to my program? And, and they're making progress. Don't just change it for the sake of it, okay? Don't just set, change it to like sound cool, like, oh, now we're gonna do this, okay? If things are going well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's sort of thing I see. A lot of people mistake, it's like, they're losing fat, they're making progress, and they're like, oh, let me just drop calories and add in more cardio to make things less sustainable for no reason, okay? So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and if you are gonna make changes, explain why. Focus on progression in training and nutrition. So you gotta be tracking their lifts, their personal records, their weigh-ins, their body fat percentage, the progress pictures, okay? Because when the program is over, it's all well and good to say, hey, you did great in my opinion, or hey, you killed it. You gotta be able to say week one, this is where we were. You know, your weight was this much. You were benching this much. Your squat was here. Now week 16, look where we are. Not only is this motivating for the client, but it's actually quantifiable. You can actually show clear progress. Like you can show the analytics. This also goes into the last point that if you don't track these metrics, then you're not gonna be able to update and make changes properly as the program goes on. So there you go. There's five tips. I hope you like the footage. Give it a like if you did. And now I'm gonna leave this footage playing and we're also gonna crack on with the rest of the vlog, so hope you're enjoying it. Oh, again, I plan to shoot these gym outfits every day, and it just, it just doesn't happen out here in Marbella. So last year, we're gonna finish off another tricep exercises. It is gonna be some overhead movements, and then we are wrapping up today. So I think we are, we're pumped enough. Yeah. So finishing off today's workout with a little bit of a burnout exercise. We're just doing some body weight dips. Just one last set to failure. Burn some calories, have you leaving the gym with a pump. And that's it, right? Dips are also a killer exercise. So let's see how many I can get, okay? All right, let, let, let's count it down. Okay. So let's go for 30. Eight, nine, 10. 17, 18, 19, 20, all right, let's go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, uh, oh my god, 30 on the dock, you're off, let's see, how many can oh. you get? <laughs> all right, let's go, two. Further than go. Nice. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That's it. Nice. Perfect depth. Twelve. Nice down deep. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. There you go. Uh, no the coach next time, the next time we'll get the thirty. Uh, no <laughs> All right, guys, we're right, wrapping things up here. And again, I'm gonna link Pedro's brand down in the description box. Tell people about it a little bit. Absolutely, guys. Come see Come Sides, a brand new company in Portugal. Again, organic cotton, French inspiration, modern, simplistic style. 
just follow us okay. down below. That, that was a hell of a sales pitch. Let's go. <laughs> oh, real. Right, let's crack on with the day, boys and girls. All right, people. So post-workout about to go down. Obviously, we have the fuel cakes. We have some blueberries in the mix. And then toppings, we're going to do strawberries, peanut butters, the old cacahuetes, some syrup, and then one of these protein yogurts. These are amazing. I've been living off these all year. There's like 68 calories per whole thing, 10 grams of protein. Very good. Absolutely delicious. This is mango flavor. So let's put this together. All right, so not my finest stack or even a stack. It kind of looks more like a flower, but we're open and honest on this channel. We, we show our hard times, but a dash syrup on that. Oh, okay, it's more than a dash. And we'll see if we need the yogurt. Might see that on the side. Oh my God, what a day. I trained two clients, so we just finished up another one there. We didn't record it. I was just like focused in the zone. It was leg day as well. So I hit chest earlier. Like today, I'm taking a rest day tomorrow. I've already established that. And we're in a different gym. And we're in a different gym. Like, God, the, I, to be honest, I feel good today. Like, I feel like I did a really good day's hard work, to be completely honest. So, yeah, sick day. But yeah, absolutely wrecked, as you guys can see. I need to go home, make a big meal. What are we gonna make? I'm thinking the well, only thing that's in the fridge. <laughs> the chicken skewers. We're gonna make chicken skewers, uh, some other chicken breasts to add to that, and then the Caesar salad. But oh my god, I'm wrecked. But like, I'm one of those days where like, I also made like loads of progress and some side projects as well. Just signed some new deals and feeling good today. You know, like I'm happy when I'm doing shit. You know what I mean? And that's why like I, I hated lockdown and I hated like you know the 2020 and even most of this year where there's just nothing going on. You know, I I can't sit inside on my own. I need to always be doing something. It's the end. It's just my personality. You know, manic. Perfect. So, all right, let's go home and finish the day off. Catch up. All right, productive day done and dusted. We're finishing off with two beautiful Caesar salads. I got two skewers. Linda got one because my delts are bigger, and that's the reason behind it. So, now we're going to watch our show, Outer Banks. It's great. And this is the time of the evening where I just switch off completely. We do watch this for like an hour, then I go to bed. So, all right, we're going to stop holding these salads. And I'll see you in the next one. Keep real. Bye bye.